CGTN returns to a migrant's encampment in downtown Mexico City, which we first visited last December. Two months later, it has doubled in size. Hundreds of people who live here, many with complete families, still have no constant source of clean water, no proper restrooms, and little food. The largest number of migrants come from Venezuela, a country devastated by economic problems. And there are a surprising number of people arriving from Africa. In 2023, Mexican immigration authorities registered a massive increase of undocumented immigrants coming from Venezuela and Africa. Last year alone, the numbers of African migrants in Mexico rose nine times from the year 2022, reaching nearly 60,000 in 2023. We met a group of women traveling with their children from Angola. And this man, Bapi Bensa, who left his home in the Republic of Congo in December. He traveled by sea to South America, passing through Bolivia and Peru. There are people who do not want to be here because the conditions are terrible. Look at how people live. We are not welcome. No one can accept living like this. When it rains, people are affected by diseases and infections. One nearby migrant shelter is so full that people are now sleeping outside along the tracks of a train that no longer operates. Dr. Luciana Gandini directs the Center for Studies of Displacement, Migration, Exile and Repatriation. It's located in Mexico City's National Autonomous University. She says African migrants are increasingly passing through Mexico on their way to the United States. Probably those with the greatest presence in Mexico are from the Republic of Congo, Senegal and Cameroon. Many are countries that have experienced armed conflicts or other internal conflicts, which explain the reason for mass migration. And all of this comes as the Biden administration floats the idea of intensifying its crackdown on undocumented immigration over the U.S.-Mexico border. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.